Hello everybody and welcome back to Crusader Kings where we currently have this crusade breaking out in about five months here. And that's absolutely fine. We may or may not participate in it. I'm not 100% sure yet. This is going to be specifically for the Sultanate of Mesopotamia. I don't know. That's going to be a long ways away. So specifically, if we go for the kingdom titles here, it'll be for... It'll be within the Persian Empire, right? So the Sultanate of Mesopotamia here, this kingdom title. Right. So we'd have to land here and march all the way over this. I mean, depending on who else in this, that might be a lot, actually. We might have to siege our way all the way over there or re-embark down here and sail around. Either way, that's going to be possibly some significant issues. I don't know about that. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe. But I'm not committing to it. For now, I'm committing to spending our gold, as you might expect. We're definitely going to... Let's see. Training fields would boost up our archers here. Sounds great. Hello, pause menu. So, beyond that, what else do we need? Taking a look through here, we have nothing here other than income, right? So, we could definitely get, like, some vast crop fields there. That seems fine. Same thing here, just income. So no real problems there for now. We definitely do want to get these stables building up as soon as we can, which will be on this next month kick, right now. Yes, this is acceptable, and we're going to be ditching these mercenary contracts. Get out of here. We don't need them at this point. So this is all looking good. No problem whatsoever here right now, although these ransoms, there's, there's a lot of them. Uh, absolutely not are we going to let the king of Africa out of prison. <laughs> that is not happening. This guy, though, he's not our vassal, so we'll happily take his money. We're not really getting anything from him being in prison, so that is fine. Cool. So at about 277 gold right now, we would definitely like to get more. This guy's our vassal? No. Get out of here. So, we're currently constructing in Toledo in Madrid as well. In most of our locations, we are constructing. We did just finish in Zaragoza, and we should definitely continue. We're going to go with a blacksmith upgrade over here. This ransom is acceptable. This one is also acceptable. This one is absolutely not acceptable. So he is going to remain in our prison. Phenomenal. Is there anywhere else that we personally control that is actually being not constructed in. That's a weird way to structure that sentence, but <laughs> I guess it's technically correct. Not really, actually. So this is actually fine. We can let our income build up a little bit here. That seems absolutely fine. Okay, so the crusade for Mesopotamia has launched. We need to make a choice. Are we going? Actually, this isn't as bad as it could have been. Really, though, any way we slice it, we could just go in through Jerusalem, right? Jerusalem is currently Catholic, so that would be a theoretical possibility. We would end up attacking either up here, which would be not great, or over here, which would be significantly better. That said, they have 150,000. I feel like if we don't do this, the Catholics don't win. If we do it, it's slightly risky for our troops. Emphasis on slightly, though. So I'm going to do it. Let's just see what we've got going on here. We'll raise up all of our forces over here. As soon as they're done, we're going to tell them, come on over this direction. And we'll land over in Sirhan. Looks good. So there's some holy orders being recruited in. No shockers here. Okay. This guy's our new regent. Gotcha. Can we work with him better? He is also self-interested. But maybe we might be able to do something here. So if we just end the entrenched regency, he won't accept this because he's too self-interested, right? That's not shocking. If we look at his actual loyalty here, he's ambitious. So this is probably not going to end up happening anytime soon. However, there might be an opportunity to do this which we were unsuccessful on our previous one. This guy would be our next. And he would probably also be self-interested, but he's honest. So maybe we can work on swaying him. 
And we could also potentially send him a gift. I don't think it's worth it right now, but later on. Perhaps later on. He is pretty close to not being self-interested, I think. So we'll work on that for now. And for the time being, I do want to see about getting rid of this guy. Now, we do have a potential agent here. This guy. We'd have to pay him 55 gold, but he'd do it. And for now, that seems reasonably fine. Bringing us up to 31 and 46, it's not great. But it's something. We can extort our subjects, and so we shall. Hmm. So we would end up killing this guy. Control level goes down anyway we slice it. Okay. Uh, we'll take the control level going up, actually. It doesn't really matter all that much, but that's not part of the extortion. So that seems fine. We are going to, of course, extort this county with 900 gold, and that seems absolutely fine. We're going to save up our gold for the moment, because we're going to need it. We are absolutely going to need it. And have we raised our forces? Yes, we have. And off we go. Phenomenal. So we're going to be landing over here. That's absolutely fine. Ah, there we've got some constructions finishing. So over here in Madrid, we do have the Station Regiment of Pikemen, right? So I would like to boost up our spearmen. That would be this. We need three gold for that. Okay. Three gold. There we go. So we've got that three gold in there. We can also hold court, but we're not going to do that for right now. We won a battle? Hang on. Where did we win a battle? Did we win a battle over here? This guy was trying to embezzle. How rude. He is set to fill coffers, so that's something anyway. We're going to need to do something about this guy. He's currently getting slightly better here. The fact that he's honest is going to be good for us. Very, very good. We're hoping that we'll be able to work with him, unlike this jerk. He's a dishonorable villain, and we're definitely going to look to deal with him. He is swinging the scales of power against us, too. What a jerk. Hmm. Let them believe what they will. So we're impious. That's fine. For the time being, I'm not too concerned about that. That's what the crusade is for, right? So this will be fine. Yes, Nosewise will definitely join us in the council meeting. That is the correct place for dogs. So, uh, Nosewise farted. Okay. Good dog. Definitely good dog. We spent some prestige, but that is definitely correct for the council because our regent is there. And our regent shouldn't be there. We're 25. <laughs> we should not have a regent. So the regent is a jerk, and as long as we can direct that over towards the regent, I'm okay with it. Very, very okay with it. So I never want to see this guy's face again. Perfect. We're not endorsed by our patriarch, and that is actually kind of an issue. Minus 36 here, mostly due to tyranny. Okay, I'm going to send this guy a gift. He's going to gain 29 opinion of us. He's still not going to endorse us, but that will start to pay off fairly soon. We don't have a good reason for this right now, but he is terrified of us. So, yeah, that tyranny needs to go away. No doubt about that. We have a lot of tyranny right now. So we could fall in love with this person, and that probably is a terrible idea. We're not going to do that. Is this a castle up here? It is. Okay. Cool. Where are the enemies and our allies? Apparently they landed up over here and are attacking this direction. We're kind of on the other side from everyone else. Hopefully they go respond to that instead of to us. We'll see if that ends up happening. Our regent is attempting to revoke a title. No. Get out of here, regent. Our regent is, of course, a jerk. Now, we're about to have this scheme go off. Do we have anybody that we can bring in? The answer is no. Okay. So, we'll see if this ends up happening. The odds are not amazing. But we'll see. We're currently sieging our way up towards this guy's capital. Okay. So, there's a good chunk of the Crusaders there. Yeah, they're all pretty much around here. My question is, where are the defending forces? We haven't seen them at all. We did just discover sappers, and that is, of course, good for us because that will increase our siege speed. But beyond that, we've got promissory notes and noblesse oblige, right? And beyond that, we're capped in tech. I don't really care about either of these techs. They're both fine. 
They're not bad, but they're not hugely impactful. Okay, a toast to this guy's health. 31% chance of killing him, 54% chance that it's discovered. What do we got? Okay, he is dead, but it's known that it was us who killed him. Okay. This is fine. This guy is now our new regent, and he's still self-interested, but he is honest. Let's see here. He would leave for renown. Done. Get out of here. So the fact that he's honest is very, very good for us. So our regency has ended. Phenomenal. That does, of course, mean we're at 11 out of 10 because our spouse is actually a bit of a problem. She is, she's got this barony title, right? So that is definitely a bit of an issue. We can't really get rid of her either. I wish she didn't have that title. I really do. But we don't have any real options there. Sure, this guy could become our friend. I mean, I suppose we could kill her. No predicted agents, though. She's not in our court. That makes it significantly more difficult for us. We do see the primary defending force up over here. Oh, we need to head up here. So they have quite a lot of numbers out over here. We just took over their capital, though. We're at 85% war score. And we're just continuing to siege through here. I don't think we want to fight this over here. I think we just want to siege this over here. And that might end the war, right? I mean, they're going to catch us here. We're now defending this territory, though. War is currently over, technically. Now, they're piling, they're piling in over here. And we are actually... We're not quite winning this battle. Okay, but the rest of the Crusaders are here. We're going to retreat, and where does this take us? Okay, we're down to 82 war score. We were at 100% briefly, but we are not in control of who ends this, which is sad. We're going to hop over here and siege. These guys have sieged back a little bit. We'll see what the Crusaders end up doing over here. Hopefully, they don't do any dumb battles. Hopefully, they only take smart battles. That's the idea here. We just unlocked True Tolerance, apparently. Okay. We're at 90% war score. 98. Mm. No, this is a dumb battle up here. I don't want to take this battle. This direction is kind of okay to head. Kind of. 97 right now. There's no ticking, so this seems fine. They're way up here. This should end up ending this war. The Pope is still a jerk, but we're not surprised about that. Okay. Pope, end the war. There you go. Good job, Pope. He actually ended the war for once. So there's a new kingdom, and this is, of course, our aunt. So it's time to focus back on our realm. So this is our aunt, and this the, the leader of Jerusalem used to be related to us in some way, but this is fine. We're probably not going to do too much out over here. We accept your generous gifts. Okay, now we are at 11 out of 10 domain, and that is absolutely an issue. We're working on our wealth focus right now. I'm currently thinking, do we swap over to domain focus? Hmm. Yes. No, that was a bad idea. I was hoping that that would give us 11 of 11. It did not. So we actually want to switch back, but we can't do that for five years, which is very sad. But we are going to accept it. It's fine. So that, of course, means, well, what exactly? I think for the moment, that ends up meaning that we don't really care too much about being one over our domain limit. It is painful. No doubt about that. What can we do about our wife situation? Because that's the core issue here right now, is our wife situation. That is absolutely... Come on, Toledo. There you go. That is absolutely something that needs to be handled. Our cultural traditions forbid divorce. Hmm. The fact that she's landed is the core issue here. We need to get her to our court, which would mean that she needs to not hold this territory.
We do have a claim on the Kingdom of Bohemia, which is kind of cute, but that's way out here. Wow, look at this down here. That is definitely not part of the Kingdom of Bohemia de jure, but sure. Interesting. So that's a theoretical option. We could fight the HRE here. I don't think it's a great idea at this juncture, but it is a theoretical option. How old is our wife? She is 26 and she is currently with child. Okay. Mildly awkward, to be sure. Our lack of wife running our realm is a pretty big problem for us. That said, we might be able to get this solved eventually. What are we at right now for our steward? Could we get any better here? No. Okay, so for the moment, that is what it is. Well, that's sad. That is indeed sad. He is just a dog. Okay. So we have a bunch of prisoners here. Most of these are going to be probably reasonably fine. This guy is not. He is a vassal. You are fine. Yep. We'll take your gold. And not you. Fantastic. I do want to work on... We have spearmen here. So we definitely want to upgrade these barracks. We want to continue to get our men-at-arms stronger, right? That's one of our core problems right now, is our men-at-arms aren't as strong as they can be or should be. And we're definitely working on that. So that'll be fine. We got a couple of mathematician halls constructed there. So that looks good. This powerful vassal expects a council position. <laughs> it's adorable. That is absolutely adorable. Now, we did just discover promissory notes. So that, of course, means that the only thing being worked on is Noblesse Oblige. That'll happen in three years. And at that point, we'll be maxed out on tech. Honestly, I think that this is something that Paradox should probably work on. Because it's very easy to max out your tech about 100 years before the end of the game. I don't think that should really be the case, in my opinion. And yeah, it's going to be basically exactly 100 years before the end of the game that we max out our tech. And we haven't even been going with, like... We, we haven't even been going with a hard education focus into learning, right? Like, we're not even trying. So that's something that should be addressed, in my opinion. We do need to take over Brittany, and I think that now is a reasonable time to do that. He's got about 30,000, so let's drop a rally point down here. We'll raise our men-at-arms and some levy troops. Fantastic. Okay. This should be sufficient. We've got about 50k here. Conscription centers in Madrid just finished. Okay. Well, we need some additional things there for sure. Can we catch this force here? Actually, we can. Fantastic. So that'll stack white, obviously. We'll head up here and siege. These guys are heading this direction, so this seems reasonably fine. I don't... We might catch this force. No, we don't. Okay. But they stopped here and let us catch them for some reason. I don't know what that reason is, but sure, war is over. So that's fine. And we're going to enforce our demands here. So Brittany is now under our control. Fantastic. We can start turning our eyes back to Africa, where there's been a pretty major breakup over here. Intriguing. We can definitely do some things with this. No doubt about that. We can also potentially do something with Takrur. We can make our way in with, like, struggle clashes. Those are pretty expensive. I would prefer to avoid those when at all possible. We would prefer claimants over struggle clashes, for sure. Although, odds are pretty good that we don't have any potential claimants here. 185 reasons? Yeah. Probably not going to be the case. What do we got over here? This guy's 55 reasons away. Maybe. But probably not going to be the case. At any rate, we would prefer something like Hauseland, right? Hauseland would be definitely preferable to take over. So that would mean getting one of these guys. Hmm. 85 reasons there. 35 reasons. Now 20 reasons. We only got 35 opinion from that. That was a little sad. I would have preferred to get a lot more than that. But that's based on personality, right? So he's just not as greedy. Sure. So for now, that seems okay. I wouldn't mind going after Gur either and carving like a hard divide here. 
So, as a hypothetical, what would we potentially be able to bring in over here? 25 reasons? I still don't know if we can press a female claim or not. This is a pressed claim. So what if we were to send her a gift? 10 reasons. Sad. Once again, we only gained 35 opinion there. So, that's definitely very, very, very sad. No, get out of here. What do we got here? No, get out of here. I just said no to you. Okay. This is acceptable. And this guy again? No, get out of here. <laughs> Whoa! This just broke up. That is a lot of things that we can go after. I'm just sitting here salivating right now. This is delicious. That is... Mildly insane is the term I'm going to go for. So we've got the Empire of Mali up here. We've also got Guinea. Now we can't actually get either of those yet. But we can absolutely go after these with duchy level claims, right? And we can do a lot of them. Holy Wars are pretty cheap for us right now. Pretty cheap. So we could absolutely attack nearly across this entire front. Holy Wars are going to run us out of piety pretty quick doing that. No doubt about that. But this is a very, very interesting option here. So we absolutely do something like Holy War for Duchy here. We're not going to be able to get down over here, right? But we can take this right off the bat. Now, I'm not going to go after Houseland here. They're a bit larger. We've got Lobi over here. This is a kingdom level, right? I mean, there's a Duchy rank around. But they have multiple duchies here. They're spread out a little bit. So we would prefer to find a claimant here. But there probably isn't one, if I had to guess. Wait a second. Where are you? Why can't we invite you to court? Okay, whatever. It doesn't really matter. We're going to move on here. Okay. So I think we attack Lobi. We're probably just going to have to do a holy war for duchy here. We can go for lower Gurma for now. And then we can attack Wagadougou as well. We can... What do we got here? Two counties? Okay, that's fine. So we're attacking three down over here, right? Kong would be next. They are pretty awkward overall. Let's do a de jure duchy seizure here. Because that'll get a truce going. Then we've got crew. Not much de jure going on there. Oh, that's awkward. Okay. Not a lot that we can really do here. We could struggle clash this one, actually. That's not a bad call. So we'll do that. We're already fighting Kong. So the next one would be Kanyan, which would be somewhere... This is just a single county, right? So this would end up being like this. Holy War for County. Or we could just seize to your lands. That's way cheaper. And we'll definitely do that. Then we would go for Gabodo, which would just be this duchy claim right? So it would be something like this, and that would open us up potentially other options. So we would fight something like this along this entire front, and then settle these wars, and then see what else we can declare on. Some of these are going to have to be truced out, right? We're going to have to wait out the truces for some of them. But some of them, that's not going to end up being the case. So mostly we're not going to need that many troops for this. Let's get a few raised up. There's a lot of wars here, no doubt about that. And this is going to make our vassals kind of upset with our offensive war malice, but that's okay. Okay, so this is more than enough troops. And we're going to head on in. We do get a stewardship lifestyle perk here, and we are going to take Golden Bomb for now. We don't have stress, so that doesn't actually help us, but if we get stress, then that will make up for the domain focus. So that'll be fine. And we're going to grab here right now. Cool. Okay, I was hoping that that would end up ending this war, but it didn't. That is sad. We're probably going to have to keep pushing over this direction. 
So we're not fighting Hauseland here. We may want to split off some forces here, though. It's almost certainly worth it to split our forces here. So we'll split off our Bombards and some Levy Troops. This is probably enough, to be honest. Let's give them 20k, though. And then we're going to head on down over here and do some fighting. Phenomenal. There's a scheme at court, and we're not surprised about this. Nosewise has unfortunately died of old age, and that is to be expected at this point. I'm honestly surprised that Nosewise lasted this long. Let's come down over here and eliminate this force, whatever this is. Cool, and then we'll head down over this way. So we're definitely seeing these wars progress, no doubt about that. And that's interesting. This is now part of Hauseland. That was not the case a moment ago. They must have just accepted vassalage. Okay. Well, we'll head over to Wagadugu, and this is actually going to slow siege very, very quickly. So that looks good. No problem there. And let's just get Hauseland knocked out of this war. Okay, this war is over, so we're going to enforce those demands. And, of course, we need to hand out these titles, which we absolutely will do. So we'll grant these out. And then I want these guys to make their way over here into Lobi. Let's see, the Lobi war here is actually for this. So let's stack wipe this force and then head back into Gurma. Fantastic. Hauseland is going to be delaying us a little bit here, but not too, too much. We're going to head down into Dendi. Excellent. And we're going to head down this direction for now. We're at 96% with Hauseland, and that's not a problem at all. How long is this siege going to be? Three months? Sure. That's not really an issue. So there's the Hauseland war over. We will enforce those demands. And now we're going to come up and relieve this force. We do, of course, need to grant out these titles. And so we shall. And with that, it is also time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we're going to wrap up all of these other wars. We do need to come down here and fight some of these guys. No doubt about that. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, Shadow Wolf, Andy McGar, Spartan News, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Soccerman 12 UK, Kentogan, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video, and as always, I will see you all next time.